I don't see any link between the National Herald case and what's happening in Parliament. Parliament is disrupted for a variety of reasons. It depends on the dynamics of the day. But I'm quite clear, based on what information I get, it's not because of the National Herald case. The National Herald case is in court. And the, the party, the those who have been accused in that case, have got the strong suspicion that the motives of the BJP government are suspect. The ED opened an inquiry. He looked into the matter and said there's nothing in this case, nothing in the charges, and therefore he closed the inquiry. Then the private complainant writes a letter to the Honorable Prime Minister. Within a couple of days, the ED is transferred, virtually sacked, and the case is reopened. Now, if a case which has been closed will be reopened merely on a letter of the private complainant, then obviously the BJP government is not entirely neutral or indifferent. Apart from that, you know, there are so many statements made by the BJP leaders, including ministers, who have pronounced upon the case. They say, Prime of Heshi, the persons accused are guilty of this, guilty of that. Um, this is a case of cheating members. I mean, if the BJP is strictly neutral, why do BJP leaders, especially ministers, have to pronounce upon the case? Therefore, there is a legitimate suspicion that the BJP government is not exactly indifferent or neutral in the case. On the GST, I've discussed the matter with the Congress President and the Vice President and others, and I have been told to say that we are in favor of the GST bill. It is our bill. I announced it in Parliament in the budget speech of 2005-06. My successor, Mr. Mukherjee, introduced the bill. Thinking, of course, has evolved over the years. The BJP's thinking has evolved. The BJP's position has moved away from what it was two, two and a half years ago. They have a bill today in Parliament, but we think it's a flawed bill. We have pointed out the flaws. The Chief Economic Advisor's report endorses our view and highlights the flaws in the bill. Now, when the Prime Minister called uh, the Congress leaders and uh, Mrs. Gandhi and Dr. Manmohan Singh visited him and they discussed the matter, they have clearly laid on the table our concerns, our objections. The government promised to reflect and come back with revised formulations. As we speak, or at least until last night, the Congress party has not received officially any revised formulation from the government. Therefore, the ball is in the government's court. They have to send us the revised formulations. We will examine it with an open mind. And if there is agreement, the bill will be passed.